Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing? Welcome back once again to the Promenade Ballroom as your host. Ah, wow, it's so hard for me to just talk normally at the moment. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm your host, as per usual, Cake. I hope you're all doing well. I'm joined tonight by my wonderful commentary team, Gecko and Just Dave. How are you two doing? I'm doing, uh, I'm doing pretty all right. I'm at the end of a bad head cold. <laughs> Ah, uh, and it is um, it it's taking its toll. See the thing We're is, if you it. if you just cut off your heads, your sinuses can never close. It's it's perfect. It's mm. all good. You're so right. I'm uploading myself to uh, to the machines <laughs> yeah. soon, so I can just <laughs> never get sick again. I'm uploading myself to the side game server. See what that gets me. <laughs> It's understandable, really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put me directly into Relink, do it. Hey, I mean, uh, that demo is going to be live for us in Europe in another, what, three hours for most of you? Maybe, maybe sooner, if you're Central Damn. Europe. Maybe sooner than that if you're in, like, Lithuania or something. What a what an excellent way to kill those couple of hours, then, by watching Ballroom. Yeah, that's true. Man, absolutely, so we got... true. Three first to ten sets today instead of the usual two, which is, and we got like, a re we got three sets and six unique characters. I think that's the coolest part is we got no repeats. Yeah, that makes me really happy. Uh, last time we had like a near double feature, which I also really enjoy because having like the same character on, you get to get into player differences and uh, basically see how the character can be expressed differently. But seeing different characters is also really nice just because it's it's more exciting, right? And I think this first match already quite exciting. We got Suko versus Dandy AFK Dandy, of course, preparing for our play. So Suko, I feel. But yeah, no, UL versus Vasaraga. Uh, this in my head. So I've been doing some prep and this sounds hard for UL. This is actually, like, a character archetype matchup I always find really interesting. Because, like, they're both characters that want to be in. Like, they do their biggest damage, their biggest threats when they're in. But Vasaraga in this matchup, it's like the that, that classic magic article, right? Where it's like, who's the beatdown? Vasaraga yes. can comfortably be the keep away character in this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really like that you're bringing up one of my favorite articles of all time. Um, Who's the Beatdown is such a quintessential piece of like um, gameplay analysis, and I think in fighting games it's actually quite important, especially during these kind like during same archetypal matchups, right? Like Sona versus Sona, or like uh, Pixie versus uh, Pixie versus Pixie or Rasta Rasta. It's just so important. So yeah, I definitely agree with your assessment here. How Dandy is the one that should be on the beatdown. Because, I don't know, like, Sunko definitely has to be the one working to get it. Yeah, exactly. Like, Yule is a rushdown character with no projectile, no real, like, she has movement options, but they're a little linear and can be very easily beaten by large buttons oh! or that big fireball. Absolutely. But at the same time, when Yule gets in, Basaraka doesn't have great reverse. I mean, never mind. He has good reverse about... tools now. <laughs> I was about to say, like, uh, in Versus, I would have agreed with you, but specifically, uh, Gar Cancel will make the, uh, will skew this a lot towards Vasaraga. I like the sick RPS here from Sunko. In a first to 10, you can do this. You can just do the goofy R run up super, and it will, it will plan something in your opponent's head. Yeah, no, they have to think about that RPS for up to 19 games now. Real actually real so yeah i don't know i actually quite like it uh multi hit burning through that armor here dandy stuck in the corner at the moment and suko starting to space it out so he doesn't get hit by the big boot which i think is one of the like undervalued buttons on vasaraga throw rejected hard knockdown coming in wakes up mash oh missed a link there though unfortunately i like it too because vasaraga is a fanatic throw character Waking up them with Mash on them sometimes, just show them like, hey, I'm not gonna take the the, the L command for lying down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. By literally lying down, actually. No way! I thought I thought for a second Suko was like Titanic brain there, going over the punish, but uh, you know it's still a DP. You still get you still get bombed. 
Awesome, damn. It's so cool that we get to see who got the the rematch bug. <laughs> no armor on that stomp, so... I, I kind of like Boss Raga's checking to make sure you... You're aware of it, but yeah, Sunko immediately counter poking it. Dandy's like, no, we're not doing that one without armor anymore. We are not interested at all. Flo coming through here, another 5 view, nice full conversion. With that raging chain, Dandy actually cashing out, but alternate move as well, Suko. Yeah, this is this is nice, right? Because you you get the token, and if they want to reapproach, they still have to go through the projectile. That's really rough, especially for somebody like UL. Yeah, like, they can't set up some kind of fireball game against the... I'm looking for another round for Dandy here. Man, these big buttons... I always I always make the joke that Masaraga can, like, get a zoning game plan if he wants to. It's not like the traditional long-range zoning, but that mid-range normal zoning? Masaraga can definitely do that. Exactly. I like... Sunko's definitely turning on the aggression here, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder if it's a little too much. But over, like, you could say over the course of the, the set, it could be wearing Dandy down. Like, being stuck in the corner this whole time, especially in this game where, like, strike throw is a little more, like, stressful. You know, you can't just react to throw anymore. He only gets his way out, though. The raging strike gonna come out. Yeah, immediate rejection coming in here from Dandy. The throw being rejected as well, but it was the mash throw, so Sunka just able to press that far reaching button, get that round. And yeah, I think again, like we talked at the very start, who's the rush down here? And uh, Sunko starting to take that role a bit more. And yeah, Dandy playing defense against UL is hard, despite what everyone tells you. Um, I don't know. So let's see how long Dandy can deal with this because UL could just kind of. It, it I, I mean this in the nicest way possible. It needs more brain space to defend against UL than to run the offense on layer yeah, exactly. one. That, that's what you want from your heavy rushdown character, though. You want to make sure they're thinking more than you have to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. I love how Dandy is starting to already. Uh, mix up the way that he goes out of the Titan's War, right? Like, he's going for two, three steps, he's going for one step low, one step high. He's he's keeping it varied, which is which is very smart. Suko, just with that, you Fox Flame round. Oh no, the combo limit! <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate, just... You can get that full route off certain hits, but not uh, the one Sunko started with. See, I find the stomps in this game very interesting because of the the buffs to throw so the way you beat it before was you could just throw them between the steps but it was kind of hard and finicky it's less so now with both throws being faster and having the range increased so i like yeah, i like it as you said like the fact that dandy is varying up how many steps he's taking and what options he's doing is really good there comes that funny combo reversal oh such a chunk of damage for Doing a meaty. Ooh, for medium strikes again, though, Suko. Cashing out with that 50%. Dandy stuck in the corner right now. Needs to deal with all of this. Dandy has been teching consistently. Does UL have, like, a, a good shimmy tool? I don't. Because she wants to use it here soon, I think. Yeah, oh. I don't know if outside of stance she does, but in stance she has the, uh... The 5M, which got really buffed this time. It's still, if that has armor the whole way through, it's disgusting. It's so funny. It's genuinely so funny. I play, we have a Vasaraga at our locals, and he sometimes uses that against me using U Karma, where he just like dashes through all of it with the armor. It's a, uh, it's, it's definitely a sight to behold. Sounds, that sounds like any movie. It's, 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 it's very funny. We were we like, we, we just spent like 20 minutes lapping out answers to Yukarma because he has not played against Bobs before. Hey. It's not, it's not a bad. There's a charge, spot dodge coming in from Sunko. Very nice, Dandy. Stuck back in the corner. Sunko just far a little too far away to get that 2H after the bounce. 
It's the thing I've always found the most interesting about UL is that her corner combo changes depending oh on your proximity. Yeah. <laughs> The five U was such a smart, uh, smart choice there too. Uh, like the the stub was such a smart choice there from Dandy as well, because that's like armored the whole move through, right? Yeah, no, that is the the DP bait. The old thing that like used to ha it used to be an issue in this matchup is that um, for a lot of DPs, Vassaraga can stomp at you and then um, react to your DP with the hit stomp. Mm -hmm. But UL's hit so fast that um, you actually couldn't reaction 5 U. No SSI. way! So nice pickup. I love her combos in this game. They're so good. UL has become just such a complete character in Rising, I feel. Especially with, like, Raging Chain and you, Fox Flame specifically. I think her routes are, like, very varied. And you can you can actually, like, think about what you want to be doing. DP going wild, the low coming in, more token being applied here, Dandy. Oh, gets hit by the far end here. That should be it. If Sunko gets the combo, there we go. That you, Fox Flame, so good. Like, puts you straight into stance, too, so you get the 2 H follow up for that extra launch. I like it. I like it a lot. I also think, like... Some of her stance normals got buffed in this version, which mm -hmm. that feels like more of a real option now. Oh my god, this is a combo? <laughs> Monkey flip! I love it, the 6-6 six, six on. First use of the vast funny flop on stream, I think. Thank you very much. That's Thanks, so Dandy. funny. Everyone say thank you, Dandy, in chat. Thank you, Dandy. Big lead here, but... Oh, yeah, there we go. When you get too antsy to get in, this is where, like, Boss Roger really shines. I think that fur L is so quick and so fur. And now it's plus one. Yay. I love plus one. Some universal changes have had some dire effects on the cast. The, the consequences of the Industrial Revolution have been disastrous for my time. This includes plus one for L for uh, Yeah. <laughs> like, look, I, I understand how it's supposed to play. I just think, you know, maybe they should have looked at Vera and Valsarog and said, you don't get that. Look at no. this. Like, he's uh, two characters away. He's under the clock fire Ling you and you're dead. Got the super. It is what it is. Very nicely played here from Dandy. We talked about Sunko wanting to be on the offense here. So it feels a bit... So I think the decision making from Dandy here to use the GC to keep Sunko in the corner once he has control is very, very smart. Because again, like, who's on the beatdown is a spectrum that changes throughout every single round, right? Just because in this matchup in general, UL wants to be on the beatdown doesn't mean that Dandy just needs to hold down back at all times. Being able to... Oh my god, that looks so fucking massive. That move is... Like, genuinely, I think one of the strongest additions to his kit. Reversals be damned. That 6-6-H, it kind of... It's kind of just a Swiss Army knife button. But it does so much. He is open! Oh, the back dash, you're recovering in time. You are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, uh, like, Dandy just doing five stomps in a row. Yeah, no, you know. just does, uh, got hit as well. I was saying earlier, the throw against it has gotten a, a decent amount stronger because of the, the range and speed increase, but mm -hmm. Dandy there just kind of checking oh, nice. is, is Sunko willing to throw this? Getting a nice conversion here. This is so much damage. Sunko has, by the way, adapted quite nicely to Dandy just going into stance and then, uh, like, catching the approach with the low. I feel he's not, uh, like, what normally happens is uh, you uh, people start committing to, like, big jump-ins once stance is out there, but you never want to jump in on stance Vassaraga except if you have the hardest read possible. But uh, Sunko just, like, run up blocking and basically making Dandy waste the token is quite nice. You command grab gets evaded here, Sunko not getting gimmick just now. No! <laughs> I just praised you for adapting to it. Yeah, I'm not... I mean... I wonder why you could do there. It's just, you know, try and run forward, try and catch the option. But, uh... Unfortunately, 6XM. Button has been doing a lot of work for Sunko, honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
uh, in this set, but maybe not against Dance. But you know, yeah. you got a lot of games. In general, Sumka's game plan seems to be um, to basically 6xm in before Dandy gets to um, acquire the token, right? Like, ideally hit him as he's getting it to interrupt that and uh, take away that very important resource. But yeah, the, the space, again, Dandy opting for Enders that puts Sumko at these awkward angles where sometimes he, he just can't. He just can't go for 6xm. No, I'm just Big reward off this cashing in two ultimates. They were cancelled so he doesn't get the full meter back. So much. Oh my god! By that. Stomp low! Stomp low! What did you want to do? Chomp out of the stomps? Even like at that range, if you're trying to walk back, like trying to do some kind of shimmy, the walk is yeah, gonna yeah. catch you. It is? Here again, like you were saying, not able to fully prevent the art token from being uh, acquired, but is like getting the knockdown as a result of going for the token, which I think is still very good. Yep, yep. Another throw coming in here. Some coach is playing some classic strike throw here, and it's working out quite nicely. Dandy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just biding his time. Just the side switch. Base a DP. Very good patience. This is the, where it's scariest. Goes for that. The old classic boss reversal. The armored 5 year. <laughs> now just yeah. a stare down. Plus and whiff, baby. Never go away. Yup, yup. More like yip, yip. So true, Bacon. Nice. This is going to be another round for Sunko. I think, like, Sunko's been close in a lot of rounds and is just not quite able to close them out, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can get those confirms into the Raging Strike, into the 2-2-U two -two is always great. Nice punish on that with 6-6-H. Six -six oh, nice! Dandy has been doing a lot of spot dodges and rolls uh, at, mid, like, at that kind of mid-range, and uh, Sunko just waiting out and punishing there is... Oh, such a good development. And nice DP to beat that Aristotle there. A lot of jump-ins and they're not getting punished. Which has been like, very, very rewarding for Sunko's offense. Yo, Sunko! Yeah. It's a big round. Didn't have the meter for the 2-2. Two -two. You tries to bait it. You cannot bait that one with backdash. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like the that difficult not... RPO. Yeah. Oh, my God. There we go. Okay, 6-6-M. Six, six, working out here. I was about to get scared for Sanko because Dandy was not at chip point yet, so he could actually play with a little bit more reckless abandon. Shout out to Nihu with the raid of 78. What is good, yippers? Yip, yip, brothers. Hell yeah, I hope it was a good, a good bracket tonight. I only got to catch a bit of it, but I saw some people playing near, so I was happy. Nice confirm here from Sanko. So 6-6-L into 2-M. I think that's only counter hit for you also. It's great that Sunko's already aware of this. On a character that he hasn't been playing that long, honestly. I think it's worth noting that Sunko mm -hmm. came into this game playing uh, Vera, I believe. So the What's fact that he's, he's doing this on UL already is quite impressive. I think the only thing that... I can really say is lacking so far as being blocking. Oh, no, you're jumping! This might be killed. This might be. I, thi down. I think Sonko's dead. Okay, no, you're fine. Alright, alright, alright. Shout out to Call off Sage down. Nice! <laughs> Using that old skill to whiff punish the fireball. Yeah, like I was saying, like. The only thing I'm finding lacking with Sonko's Yule right now is I'd like to see more stance because it does. From. My, my research, that uh, Stance mm -hmm. moves got quite a bit stronger in this version. Like, Stance M especially is... It went from 0 on block to uh, oh, plus no! 2. Also, yeah, this is a huge hit. Focus Back for those, Sanko. Gets the corner position. Dandy, no, with the Yuka Man grab! Token applied Stance. The Titan walk it in with Punish here. This shouldn't hit. No. Nah. One of the other super, for sure. Oh, 
unfortunately oh, gonna need the SSBA. Again, though, I need to go back and count the success rate on those 6 xms They're hitting so often. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Early on into the match, uh, we've seen Dandy call it out a bit more to go with with these kind of moves, right? But uh, again, like Sanko is starting to find more and more of these openings. Very, very nice. Version comes in, token comes in as well. Back throw again. Sanko wants that corner position. Oh, we see what happens before. There it is again. The Yuka Mangram. Oh my God, that went through. That had enough hits. Again, getting away with these jump-ins. As pressure he sends nice whiff punish with the 2-1, 2 3 6 U. Nice. On chip point, though, this is scary, yeah. Dandy gets himself to the halfway point here. 5-2. to two. Looking quite nice, but Sunko not too far behind. Again, like, this is 5-2, but it's been close. We're like one or two steps away from uh, greatness. Yeah, exactly. It's just a big part of it too is like Dandy's getting a lot more heavy rewards for being right. Like, look at how much damage is yeah, 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 right yeah. now for I used my armor move correctly. Yeah, again, I think that's a, that's a thing that's worth pointing out as well, right? Uh, even though UL got more combo tools, she still can't keep up with like a damage monster like Vassaraga. Gorgeous spot dodge there, by the way. Sunko yeah, starting to call out Dandy's man. dash tendencies. Oh my god, that actually hit Mini. What is that? That's kind of sick. I didn't, I didn't see what um, what option he woke up with, but I have no idea. But uh, said awakened his tackle. Gotcha. But yeah, no token. Tackle getting interrupted. Pulling out another roll here. Dandy getting a bit too happy with those. Another nice combo. Okay, there we see the stance. Goes for the throw bait with the, the 5M. Nice block. Still Garrett crushes, but... I don't know, can he do anything off of it? Nice, I'm liking Sunko finding more just ways of spending meter to just keep himself. I, I prefer the 214 for use over the over the jump ins, honestly. More damage off of that. Gets to block after the 6XL, even though it tagged the armor. Oh! That was almost incredible. Oh my god. Two H's, the, the air stole. That didn't come out of time. Let's try it again. You just need one hit, but this is a dangerous place to be in when you see your opponent at this life and you're just desperate to get that last hit. You do something no. like beating yourself to death. Yeah. No! <laughs> Sukas just gave it to Art, man. The sick, sick RPS in chat, please, everyone. Give, give it to me. Holy moly. That's the counter hit for um, oh, immediately getting started into the corner, but Abby has not been particularly scared. Tries to roll out there, maybe looking at Twitter too much. Again, Dandy has been uh, very favorable of roll in general. Ooh, that's another jam. That one is so good. Like, that's a it's that's a nasty ass button. Try to throw out, but the command throw comes out. Just goes for the back throw. GC, getting Dandy some space here. The armor, yeah, just slash right through. Faram is good, but not that good. Yeah, you still need that third hit to get through. Take the token into the into the full combo. This Vasaraga guy. I like that the charged 6-6H hitting medium. Spot on is coming out too. Yeah. yeah, there it is again. Sitting back at turn with spot dodge, but Dandy's still finding the hit. New dash conversion, resulting in a token, and again going for the EX projectile here. Tries to hit it with the monkey flip, but this time 
soon because SPA finally hits. Put that boy in the mood. Yeah, no, Danny heard we got the raid, so it was like, I gotta, I gotta bust it out again. Oh, nice. The <laughs> roll's gonna beat the wake up you command throw. Do you have enough damage here? You do. You have the basketball. Basketball. Truly, we are Michael Jordan on this day. Mike UL Jordan. Meaty. Connects for the, the dandy. Immediately goes again for token projectile. Keeping Sunko at a distance. AM. Oh, nice. All raging strike. Take with 2 BP. Man, unpunishable too. You'll have to see it. Nice, but gets the punish on that spot dodge. Not quite close enough. Like pixels away from that wall bounce. Goes for the U charge to throw as well. Suka was like trying to play around you command grab there. <laughs> These DPs are not working out against the the walk at all, unfortunately. And it's like, Sunko's doing so well in basically every other situation, but Dandy's so good at forcing him into the one or two situations he's not dealing with well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, at, at this moment, right, it's genuinely Dandy recognizing where Sunko is uncomfortable. Most, uh, like, most importantly, um, live in Titan while token is available, and then just forcing that situation and again and again, while still weaving in some new stuff from time to time to keep him on his toes. Because you can't just do the uncomfortable stuff because at that point they'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, like solid meaties go for like funny mix-ups and then put him in the, put him in the contraption. Going for the air to air there. Hitting the button with the air stall. There goes that reversal tackle again. So good against pressure resets. Oh. It's quite nice. It's not, it's not quite Zorus uh, U-dash, but uh, it's got down close. It's a funny look. Jerry is out. Uh, uh, Jerry is out on if I like the wall now too. <laughs> He needs it, he needs it. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, the double token? I like the decision to double token there, right? No, some go! Yeah. Well, yeah, going for the token there, trying to catch out another far reaching button. Like, if Zuko was in range for the punish, that second token would have been a 6 head play. Yeah, especially with the reward you get with that counter hits now, the crumple state. Yeah. Oh shit, is he dead? Yeah, but... Jumping, gonna hit Meaty. Another one on the board for Dandy. 8 to 2 right now. Dandy looking solid. Okay. Oh my god. Let's go take back the momentum here, though. Okay, that Finally. time. Kanak sees the command throw come out. Gets out. <laughs> Didn't see that one, though. <laughs> Our good buddy, Blue Command Throw. I love blue. More token. Okay, became blue. And tried to hug you. Would that be fucked up or what? This oh, is no! nasty. <laughs> this time <laughs> spot dodge. Oh, minor sponge mistake. Burn that as crops. It's house too. Just, kill. just You know what? Just kill him. Mr. Electro, release the dogs. <laughs> That's something I don't see happen enough, and I think it's like, I do not think they're a particularly effective tool in this game, the um, the different triple attack enders. Yeah, yeah. But I think putting it into your opponent's head, like, doesn't it feel weird to get hit by, like, the overhead three times? You start it, thinking it, it about it. It feels bad. It feels bad. And even though you're only taking like a couple of hundred damage each time, yeah, you're yeah. still just like, I just, I need to be thinking about this. All right, so I think. Oh, that's uh, that's actually not nothing. I mean, you still get it 16 times. Okay, yeah. the throws were just passing the corner. 
We're gonna see you come and grab at some point. Sunko is afraid of it too. This is Danny is just waiting for Sunko to miss space. Okay, you dash, it's gonna be instead. Low gets blocked out here, Dandy. Giving Sunko another turn. Oh no! And didn't quite have the meter to cancel into an ult skill either. Both on enough to send. Oh, not projectile and vol. Sunko walking forward, trying to build that meter back up, but the fire L is gonna check him. Ah, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate for sure. But yeah, I use the triple attack Enders from time to time because you want to put it into your opponent's head to to psych them out during these low health situations, which happen quite a lot in Rising, I feel. And just like getting your opponent to twitch high low uh, once they're on like low life. A, a triple attack just suddenly turns into into a life-ending situation. Yeah, it becomes a thing Gen you almost like have to brave cancel. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like getting getting them to brave cancel uh, an attack like that. In these kind of situations is quite nice, bro. Dandy is just tearing Sunka apart right now. Token command grab set point, baby. And that's like maybe the third time he's used the the EX command throw roll like that. We've seen them come out of stance a few times, but just as a round ender, he's representing at just the right amount. Then does not go answered. Oh. Yeah, Dandy is, has really moved into a proactive role here. Again, like you see, see these buttons like that 2H, just signaling to Sunko. You do not move, right? It's so hard against that. Under the round start timer. Just pressing far L, it's so difficult. It's so difficult even to apply your pressure. No! And the DP gets faded, gonna send the super. It is going to hit. All right. To the moon. Into the moon now. Now's the time. Sonko's gotta dig deep, find that momentum. No! <laughs> oh, instead! He was just waiting! Oh, the flip. damage from the flip, though! No meter! But Do zero it again. DP! Do right it again! He's Look. dead it again! There's so much damage, you're done! Let's go, Sunko! <laughs> He's making himself alive! Nice. Oh, so I, I, res I respect that, he tried to finish it with the monkey flip. No, absolutely, he's doing it for the he's doing it for the boys. That was uh, not too bad. Oh, nice whip punish and gets the confirm. That's like a look and alive. He found something in there. <laughs> the strike pressure coming out, another counter hit. He confirmed himself on one BP. That shows confidence. Yeah, this is like, I understand why he's doing it, and it's working out as well, but uh, Dandy had an opportunity there. He was trying to go for token, right? Uh, that's what got interrupted by the jump in. Uh, but if, if anything worked out there, like if Sunko was a little bit more scared, uh, that could have been a simple Dandy round. But for now, Sunko definitely taken up the, uh, the driver's seat. That's what you love to see. He's getting the Dragon Ball Zenkai boost. Don't DP. Yeah. Okay, don't do that either, but... It's alright, it's alright. Don't worry about it. BD! Into the face. Oh, extension with the Raging Chain. Oh my god. That don't kill, right? Nah. Tell me that don't kill. Nah, you're fine. The wield isn't. Vassarog is actually one of the, the lower damage characters in this game. And like, as you were saying, at the low life situations... Those triple attack high lows become such a threat. I'm telling you, you gotta you gotta let it rip a bit early just so you can start psyching your opponent out. Again, Sunko. Too scared to approach. Cross up, it's blocked out though, dandy. It's a nice little charge reset. Corner power. Oh, I like that the meaty setup for the token, but fortunately throwable. Maybe dandy missed timing it. They should let him have it. If they let Siegfried do it twice, they should let Vassaraga do it one time. No, <laughs> they didn't wait for the counter. Oh, no. 
coming in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was expecting this, right? Because if you don't space the 6-6M correctly, there is, there is an opportunity for punishing here. And Dandy definitely went for that. Please wait as we have finished our match 3-10. to 10. Dandy AFK telling Sunko that uh, armor is best. And it's like... There's a big gap in the score, but honestly, like, so many of those games went to round three, right? It, it was just a, a lot of the sorry. case of, like, oh, the, the, the Vyman Kagger. <laughs> I can hear Livy mashing in the background. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We, we, anyway. we might have a, a little bit of, of stick ass somewhere, but... It's funny, it's not gonna be showing up when she's playing, it's just because she was mashing so hard to have Kang yeah, vibing know. out as fast as possible. I know, that's why it's so funny. But yeah, uh, just like, to go back to the, the match for a sec, I think Sunko yeah, did, yeah, yeah. did really well. It was just like, at times felt like he was too scared of the reversals from Bossaraga, which is fair, like, you tackle is very, very high reward and honestly not massive risk. I think it's only like minus four or minus six on block. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so it is something you have to heavily play around and it's quite tough. Um, definitely had like the conversions on deck. Saw a lot of the, especially in like one of those last games, we we're seeing a lot of really good confirms into EX Starry Sky. Off like single hit confirms, which is really great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or... Again, like I think Sunko was like one, like one or two pieces were kind of missing, right? You uh, talked about it earlier into the set where you basically wanted them to get get like basically just keep it tight, keep it keep it a bit.